Hello, oh, my name is Morten, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the quick peel SQL code generator to generate CRUD style code. So that's uh, create, read, update, delete uh, subprograms. Uh, let's start with a blank slate here and just imagine that we have a table in the database for invoices. And we'd like to create a package, so let's create a package called uh, invoice package. This package handles invoices, and we want to have a function that creates a new invoice based on, uh, let's say we have a parameter with a due date, and this returns a number, the invoice ID, uh, it creates a new invoice. So that's starting with this, we get created a, a package and a function, new invoice that takes a due date and returns a number. If we look at the generated code, it will just have a null as the generated code, means we have to write the code ourselves to do the insert and return the, the value. If on the other hand we would like to automate this, uh, you can have a look in the help text to see what you need to do. You can, on the package level, you can specify what is the base table name uh, here and what is the key column name uh, for this table. Uh, this goes into the package level, so we can say CRUD table and let's say we have a table called invoice or maybe it's uh, prefixed with something, so xy invoice is the name of the table. And then we have a key column, so we put in crud key, and it's called the uh, primary key column is called invoice ID. So let's see uh, with this information, and then we need to put in, we need to tell the generator that this this function is actually going to be a CRUD create uh, function. So we click create. What happens now is that we get a function as before, but in the implementation of the body, we can see that it actually is doing a, an insert into this XY invoice. It's taking the due date parameter and assuming there is a due date column in the table and it puts in this uh, parameter and it returns the key invoice ID into the return value and returns that. So that means uh, just by annotating this we, we got this code generated. Let's say we want to have a delete invoice uh, procedure and that should take an invoice ID in to say uh, delete an invoice and then we need to tell this generator that this should be a CRUD operation of the delete type. So we get delete invoice and here it generates the code delete from XY invoice where invoice ID equals P invoice ID. Uh, so to now we have the create and we have the delete. Let's do the uh, read. So let's call that get invoice. We want to fetch a row, so we want to return uh, the XY invoice row type. So uh, retrieves an invoice row, crud read means we should generate a select into statement. So get invoice returns this. It creates a select star into return value and it uh, handles the no data found exception and returns the row. So now we have the create. And actually, we can change the ordering if we want to make it in CRUD order. So create, read, and then we are missing the update. Let's call that uh, set, uh, set invoice. Uh, we can say that we want to um, just take the whole row of this uh, of this table. So updates an invoice row crud update. 
and generate. So now we have create, read, update, and delete. Let's see what the update code looks like. It takes the whole row, update the invoice table, set row equals p row, where the invoice ID equals p row invoice ID, so it doesn't update the whole table. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also say, I want to have a set invoice, which will just take the the invoice ID and then the due date that will also update an invoice, but not the whole row, just this parameter. And let's also say that this should be the uh, current update type. So now we actually have two different procedures and the set invoice second variety takes the invoice ID and the parameters and it creates an update statement to set the specific column based on this parameter and uh, where the key is this uh, assumed to be the first parameter. So in this way we can uh, just annotate the code and we get generated all this uh, standard uh, CRUD code and if we wanted to uh, have more tables then just create similar setup we just replace the invoice table with a with another table the user table or products table or whatever and it, you can get all the the files uh, all the packages generated in one go so that's it for the video explaining how to use the CRUD annotations in the PL, Quick PL SQL code generator.